Sasa kutaiku ni insiga zetu mwege setuleke. Nangin kati sasa pumechele kwa kuya lezo mpela bako ulibeti. Au sasa tembeni. Sia bonu kutisolo kwa atula nji. Njokoba nupumala. Sia azu kutingege. Ninga ukubeli kwa mbili mzabalazo. Satati sumo moge. So kuti. Sizo ufusa umbutu. <clears throat> oba bukwala oba bumei oba buzulu <clears throat> kanye nalabe nbazi yobe o john nene no mfenendala <clears throat> no doctor na inzi zwe kulu misi nkisi gashi iti ngoba abantu mabeba ningi ni tamama sis uma emu nye bukuti mas <laughs> <laughs> Sawu <clears throat> sagumbuto naleli kau laba ngo munye <clears throat> owa bambi kaze mkulu mawufu sukongolos sawu sanga pansu gomsha gangi nentanza na goba ngangu no pala wale so structure sase na pansu gomsha ngangu hamba donke leji ngali hamba ngenyawo nange paisigili gazi na hamba nange moto Imoto ea chengwa ubabu kwa lale mkumunjo ufu. Ii sege ini. Eza lugazi ini. Ea ini. Ne mne intuwa ne kala mwago wa hamba chula kusisti nchi. Iti nti 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 nti. Kwa nda ubi hambi za lugazi. Kwa kufune kama kawe nga longa chengoba. Aba nga basibe pumechele. Mduwa seta nkufunu buya lala kwa. Abangyati mna kufunu hamba ngeli tingswe na ngazi wenzuwa. Kwa se kufunu kama kawe azo te hai. Si hai bamba insi mbishisa. Numa ngabuye leche la guna hana. Ukawe ke kufunu ke buwana gale nga loo mka atu muti. Jehova zigeza kuneta nje wa echele. Usu ya negeze la hii ni noma usakubek. Ii bindige za azu buwana gala lapu. Uye azige mfue tu. Uma kubani kuti. Sikone zingi nzizwa. Eza asale njilini. Lesi mosubadu lege gabi ngoba. Abandu baya batu masipegene. Nobunzi ima. Njengu mbutu. Ngesikati kulelu nkulu lege. Abangi baya baba lege bati hai. Ngege. Omu nyanela banjo nji. Akaze yonki nto. Lage nga kono mwya umholu wetu. Satisi nekale pitoli. Ese kamuga la setuga. Hopu lendo di. Ni ufagazi. Izo subo pimpele gandia zuhola. Kwa tuwa hindi ya kubangeli kuti. Utenge ise. Gatuma mkleze. Ngati kifungu lende nishalelela. Angazi nishalele ni ngoba mina. Umutu we non-violence method. Lento lukutuwa mkondwe sizo gula kuyo ni kolelo ya mdu. Futa kuyo nekati tuli. Nga nko nga uza ngati. Nga kela kwa kwa fiki poesa. Nga tingela ma poesa lao kwa kwa special branch. Beza. Wa tingela ii. I notebook. Nifunu pala nite nza zio. Wa pala nga pala wa pala wa pala wa pala wa pala. Kwa kunzi mala. E nga saa shuma ni kutu kina. Kandu wa hila data screen nse nga pala. Sisi na mtu sisi aisha busi na balandeli. Uguti kwa kile pansi ufuselele umbuzi, wawa zuguti kwa na kuniingo kwenzeka. Ai kwa na kama kesi na ngi hambi pulua lea, kubese ngati beni zenge, mkuunjo fukani sengu ya pulua, ngi bafuta me. Ginga ngi hambi ngi shule na kumtom tala, ngi shule hamasti lugo meiwa. Saya kanji ya vuga. Sasa zitolu miale zuguti singa be. Sisati nda manyama province. Ngoba kufunegi gwenzi wela. Gwenze gelea nde enze ka. Erivonia. Kutukubanjo wa bantu bonge nge skate soto. I province nganye. Izoba. Ne headquarter siya. Satu nyanje kupelu kuti. Asizamu kuma base. Weste abase Cape. E Western Cape. Nase Eastern Cape. Kwa pindo kwa fugu miale zuguti. Sebe kutumene. Sebe kutumene. Nabase Western Cape. Sasa siba kumela. Nabase Eastern Cape. 
<coughs> wafu umbuto. Kwa sifu figizi katige la pogo atu wakona. E, sifu mele nega ashikutu ya wana sifu nukwaka. Lento ezo ba i i. Hengu lindo ngapansu kwa mshabinda zi. Kwa diyoti ngamzu wani kubuga. Kwa <coughs> shizu. Test sati si bambile ya kulegi mozambiki. Satolu mea lezoti. Mbo bisi ikona manji. Sifuna bafana vangani. Abez akufanele uguti. Bazo trainer. Mbala baba bepume dao. Sebe shalis katisita. Sebe kotliwe. Na izinje la na inje la se zashi inje ka. Kwi hiki niso. Waso kukona. O oh, one way abaning. <laughs> I can't imagine driver, white driver, um, Tom Dala, la, be a Tewin Radak and get a win. What in a West Street say two ways. But what man get it? A Pambana name motto. A motto is sham with ba 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 ba. A weird driver, how by was Tom Dala, but one and shoes him a day. A chaplain. Wa we sabega loko uti bazo tu bafika la mafumu shanga pansi apamba dene moja bosh watu asitume la bafan sasa la pansi si komiti sati ni abona gemanje stepi sokale sokpinde si sibui saleche waba kushuguti esi zoba kipa la esi zoba kipa ba hambe ba yufunde minimum ye six months noma one year. Umabe kreta nje sebe buwe. Uzo gwenze kwa kubwe kwa nababo shwabe. Ama po isage, uma ese kubuze, ese kubege la ina skati songi. Hawa kubuzu kuti zolu buma api, akali la kuti. Uze upume nje wakishwa ubani. Tinage, esi zobe suba kipa la babantu, ufanelu kuti. Sake into ezo ngamuka. Ozo kipa bantu, Kwa ufanu kuti, enga ka peli, no mase pelu six months, apume na. Umfana uyo kuluma, ashumdu na unga seko sa apume. Kwa ba pelebe sasine espili yo, nso kuti, sasika di sese jay. Sabo shwanje, kwa ba, informishini ya kubanta bani. Sase si apume la, nti wabona ki, kukwa na bazo shwana nga panzo kwa mshaba, ba, Sisuga makari. Ama kesha, wana sifunu kuti suwa shie. So nga munga singa sebenzi nao, anje ngoku wala nje no jamini. Goba, ufune kuti, ama masis, anga kosa, ufuneke baboshwe boba. Uguze, ama masis, abe nendo, asugu mangaya batimani, kuta bakisho majeli. Bona uba sebe badala balungi le tinagisi ya ikuba ngapansu kwa mshaba abanya banga pande. So uma be kuluma la bafana. Banga toli mtu. Sasi punga lezo zinto <coughs> kule sa structure. Hei sasi za gashe. Kwa da ngaba ngaze ngashe uge mnangate hai. Ya bona gemanji mtu ala ibosho. Kwa banga mzu wane babu ya nja. Aba soze kutu wabu ngege bakulume bonke. Kono yo kulume. Kwa kusenzi mage ngalunga, tunga kabi mnandi, jengoba kumnandi na mshanji. Umtu pelo wabona, utilo kumnandi, bunjani, ubaba, utambu, munga melu etu. Uwa eshale schenu kuti, ugule linkulego sidi, ugule kuni nje. Esio kubonu kuti, ugule kuni kakulu, upatizu. Ugule kuni nga pambi, nanga pezu kwa ugule linkulego. Kuya kutakitake na mshanji. Gita ngisho njalo nje, kutu masukulu manga leli kawa, masukulu manga banda batu lebu nzimei. Aba nga kaa, no minkinga zikona. Aba zikuti nkinga, zingwa enye yempiri. Uma kukamki nkinga, funa isombulu. Unga yenze nkinga, pezu kwenye nkinga. Tokoza kakuluge, angkoli senjukuti, Iskata sifumela nanga nami Ngoba siyatungwa tina Tina nukabazela sifunege kapa kusasa 
emhlanganweni esesiqhamukizwe kanjengulu manje na ke mina ke kube khona imihlangano ehleliwe khona ebusunje njengoba sengibona sekushintsha nohlelo nje besokuthiwa oh uma kuna mazwane ngiwenza ya ngiwenze nje ebeseke ngiyaphuthuma so angixolise bakwethu ningashi ukuthi banjalo umthetho wabo Mm-hmm. Fika sichena sichena bese uyahamba yena. <laughs> Asinjalo sonke. <clears throat> Ingakho nje ngizogqidiza kakhulu nomhlanje ngoba kunjaye njaye isitimela. Eh <clears throat> bawuthisala nje abanye bashi ukuthi hayi ube zami ukuthi silunga ngisazike mina. Engushiyo la ngikwazi ukuthi kusho ukuthini. Kodwa ngizozama ngisilunga. Ngikodwa ukuthi ukuthini sene yozwa ngayifundiswa. Izo lezi ishele nga kwa wame. Compatriots and comrades and friends, it is always a great honor when we come together to pay tribute to the stalwarts of our liberation struggle in various ways. We are doing that today with the launch of the Truman Makubane Family Foundation, whose goal is to assist young people from our communities to equip themselves for active participation in the economic and the other spheres of life in the new South Africa. It is fitting that today we are launching a foundation which is named after this gallant freedom fighter. He is one of the finest models of revolutionaries who never say die. Councillor Truman Makubane is among the most distinguished freedom fighters that were produced by this city. He is one of the finest sons of this province. Councillor Makubane joined the struggle for freedom at an early age in life during the roaring <clears throat> Fifties, and in the wake of the defiance campaign of 1952. But it was not long after when <clears throat> the apartheid colonial regime banned the ANC in 1960 and forced cadres like Councillor Makuban to become part of the early underground structures of our organization. Being one of those who did not succeed to leave the country for military training abroad, he worked in the underground structures of our organization in the most difficult period. The high command of the Young People's Army Mkondo Wesizwe was arrested in Rivonia in 1963. Former President Nelson Mandela had been arrested in 1962 in Hawick. Madiba was returning to Johannesburg after meeting Chief Albert Rutuli, then President of the ANC who was serving a banning order at, this ho at his home in Crowdville. It is also so fitting that we launch this foundation just a few days after the International Mandela Day. The Rivonia Trialists were sentenced to life imprisonment and 
were sent to Robben Island. That is where most political prisoners would be incarcerated. <clears throat> Ms. Lankata is one of the courageous freedom fighters who kept the fire of the National Liberation Movement burning. He was arrested in 1975 and sentenced to 15 years in prison in 1977. Makubane comes from a family of freedom fighters. He continued to fight for the freedom of his people at a time when he was just building a family of his own. He had a young wife, <clears throat> Mavis, who was also arrested and detained for three years in prison. Two of his <clears throat> siblings went to join Umkondo Wesizwe abroad. His whole family was subjected to extreme harassment and surveillance. In his own words, it was a bittersweet reunion when one of his sons also came to Robben Island as a prisoner in 1986. This was an unusual experience. Two of his brothers also went to exile and one was among the MK combatants who were brutally murdered by apartheid security forces who raided their shelters in Madola, Mozambique in 1981. Time does not permit for me to tell the story of Truman Makubane and his family and comrades who continue today to be an inspiration to our people, young and old, to this day. The economy of South Africa is very different from what it was. Just four decades ago, when Comrade Makuban went to prison in Robben Island. <clears throat> I'm sure in Peter Morris Maybeg you know better, this family, all of it, totally, Father, mother, child, daughter, son, brother, they all went in to fight for our freedom. <clears throat> I know the little girls who used to harass me in exile <laughs> and the mother about them. She was very worried about her children out there, and she will dare <clears throat> allow anyone to stop her. She will dash <clears throat> to a number of countries to say, I'm coming to check my children. Just to enter the labor market today requires the level of skills that very few, if any, black South Africans possessed when <clears throat> counselor grew up here in Watugus. Our people were deliberately denied education opportunities by the apartheid regime. Very early on where missionaries set up schools as part of 
and parallel with the colonial project, our people soon realized that education empowered them to challenge the structures of colonial oppression. Indeed, those who obtained formal education were pioneers in the establishment of the Congress movement in the 19th century, with coalesced into, who were coalesced into the South African National Native Congress in 1912 in Mangaum in the Free State. We speak here of, among others, but Walter, Kubusan, Pixlika, Isagasem, Reverend James Talata, Saul Blakey, and John Tango Chabav. We speak also of Reverend John Langaliba de Dube, Umafuguzela, the first president of the African National Congress, one of the main streams in this municipality bears the name of this giant who also founded the Oshange Institute, which produced many leaders of our struggle for freedom and the other fields of human endeavor. We continue to suffer the consequences of apartheid policies today, even as the ANC-led government has expanded access to education for all. We want highly trained artisans, scientists, and leaders of large corporations. They must be leaders of the commanding heights of the economy of our motherland. Our country has high rates of unemployment because of the structure of the economy and labor market. This is another direct effect of apartheid. For those who would deny this truth that the problems of the economy of South Africa are directly linked to our past. <clears throat> Let us quote Henrik Vervoet, the architect of apartheid, when he talked about Bantu education in 1954. And I quote, the Bantu must be guided to serve his own community in all respects. There is no place for him in the European community above the level of certain forms of labor, unquote. He continues, and I quote again, for that reason, it is for no avail for him to receive a training which has as its aim absorption in the European community while he cannot and will not be absorbed. Up till now, he has been subjected to a school system which threw him away from his community and particularly misled him by showing him the green pastures of the European but still did not allow him to graze there." Unquote. In other words, there was a system that said 
you are black, you don't belong to whites, don't be given education, and therefore opportunities, and therefore anything. Now, if there was such a thing about the economy of the country, and if today we are grappling with the economy, and you are told <clears throat> it's because we are not clever, or you don't know what you are doing. In fact, you are responsible for this mess. What about what the runners of apartheid said and colonialism, deliberately saying, be excluded? And how do you become again the one who did all wrongs for the economy of the country? That is the kind of frankness that is missing from the debate about the real causes of our economic <clears throat> stagnation today. We blame one another every day. We blame ourselves. It's a very funny situation. We inherited the economy that was flat and we are still trying to take it up, and indeed, everything was wrong. But just <clears throat> more than a decade, you are blamed for it. All kind of excuses are made, and people blame the ANC, which is making huge strides <clears throat> in reversing the effects of <clears throat> centuries of systematic exclusion and suppression. We need new graduates who will help restructure this economy completely. That is why we speak of radical socio-economic transformation. If we did this shortly after 1994, would be very far by now. But unfortunately, when we landed, we thought this was <clears throat> the landing. The radical socio-economic <clears throat> transformation, the fundamental change in the structure of the economy. We have not changed the structure of the economy. The system, institutions, and patterns of ownership and control of the economy. We have to change the structure of the economy for a number of reasons. Because we have not done so. <clears throat> we might talk every day through the TV, the radio, and everything, blame one another, but the reality, we did not do the right thing. Firstly, the economy was built around commodities for export to Europe and later the Americas and the other regions. Even roads and rail were constructed so that they led from the mine shafts and the farms straight to the harbors like Durban. That's how the structures was created, not for our interests, for the interests of those <coughs> people. Commodity prices are set in the international market. In other words, the minerals come from our land, but we do not determine their price. That's a reality. That's a plain truth. It's not us failing to do the right thing. And I know people are going to say ANC is arrogant, but we just tell the truth as it is. 
the large economies buy our minerals as raw materials and manufacture goods which they sell back to us at exorbitant prices. Capitalism works in such a manner that at times more is produced than what can be sold. The prices are reduced and commodity-based economies suffer. We want to re-industrialize so that we create more jobs. We also want to beneficiate our minerals and agriculture products so that we add more value and do not depend on import of finished goods from other countries. There is no one who will help us to do so but ourselves. The structure of our economy was also shaped by colonial capitalism. It is in the nature of capitalism to concentrate capital in fewer and fewer enterprises. <clears throat> it's called monopoly if they do so. They monopolize. Historically, all the capital is controlled largely by white men. Those who hold the capital here and abroad instinctively become suspicious when we talk about changing the structure of the economy because they are making a lot of money from the economy as it is. They have to protect their hold on the economy, even if it means they have to destroy our spirits and take our lives. It is a matter of life and death. It's a serious business. To achieve our objectives, we need all the young people to be highly educated, to go beyond what government alone can afford. That is why we need structures like the Truman Makubane Family Foundation to be focused on the real challenges that face us. And I must say for you too, I hope your foundation will look into that. It will not be a foundation that is built to do politics. We have too many challenges that need influential names and foundations to help us work on the solutions. And the game for to learn well again, the Abu Benzero, second Asaja Mabed, Utate, the foundation, Umemongum to Lofuna, Utagumboot, Usebens Foundation, oh, so Vimbati, Bobu Comrade. We also want to produce new generations of farmers and leaders of the agro-processing industry. We want black agricultural scientists that will propel South Africa to become the food basket of the world and compete with the best of the best from the developed regions like Europe, and the Americas. That is why we have to accelerate the redistribution of land and support food production, working together with the current landowners. We must develop creative solutions to this end. 
The reality is that with the best intentions and efficient policy implementation, the state will never have enough money to return the land if that is the only avenue open to it. I said a few things about Comrade Makuban because he models <clears throat> in the best possible manner the caliber of freedom fighters and leaders we need today. Humble as the speakers indicated, respected, ready to be given tasks and undertake them with humility. We need leaders who cannot be suppressed, humble as they are, in terms of what the task of the African National Congress is in society. We need leaders who are not opportunity or opportunists. We need leaders who are totally committed to the betterment of the lives of their people. As I close, I want to stress the love for education that Mzilangata instilled in his children. His two daughters who joined Mkondo Wesizwe also furthered their education as part of the ANC program in exile to equip young people with the skills that would be necessary to build the new South Africa. One of them is a senior official in the Department of Defense today. The other continued her education in what is today known as the University of Wazulu Natal and sadly passed on while she worked there. I would like to thank the Makubane family for starting this foundation, which aims to promote the culture of reading books and documenting the unfolding stories of Africa. I encourage South Africa, South Africans to start such progressive initiatives. This will go a long way to help us build the new South Africa. It is the emphasis on education that will help us to move South Africa to a level of a developed country. Because if citizens are empowered with education, they don't just become job seekers, but they become creators of jobs. We urge all the young people to use every opportunity to equip themselves from the new economy. We urge them also to prepare for and embrace the fourth industrial revolution so that our country is not left behind. One of the challenges that faces the globe today, and we raised this issue as South Africa in the, in the last G20, when everybody was saying there's a fourth revolution, industrial revolution rather, and indeed, <clears throat> The technology is replacing workers. And we ask the question, what happens to those workers who have been replaced? Is the globe thinking what to be done? 
and that matter has been placed on the agenda of the next uh, G20. Because we need to plan. Whilst development and technology is fine, but if it impoverishes every, everyone, we need to say what do we do. It is an important issue. I thank the Msunduzi municipality for this very important project. Let us handle it with care. See, Patti said, always call it a mantuma. Any years in this of Sanganesa, he sends a Uber Quintessian Zayo, Ezo Caesar, a band, a band was tied. Umabutua, I Truman McBane Foundation, Mundu would he call a Gelaga Congo Celer. Schoolman have a color of him. By a son de la Bonk, Obabaya Mazuti, Unjango Benji, Jango Baba Engine as a plane. It is my honor and pleasure to officially launch the true Mac Truman McBane Foundation. May it grow from strength to strength. And indeed. And it, may it touch many lives in the future. <clears throat> Can I then request at the end that we stand for a moment of silence for two people, Ray Piri and Tembatron, just to respect them. They were being <clears throat> bidden farewell today. Thank you. But we're to send on Kole that Umas and Yamala and German perfume. Say good Delania Kong, Siabo. Without wasting any time, Bengu Zotela Unongkonzo Mulai to come to the stage so that we may conduct the gift uh, giving ceremony. Thank you very much. Nenga Tugin Jalubutin Bengkulumenda by economy. He funds fund sun over weight. Is related to Sio Salas Fupega Bulumas in the right. Fanes is ends. We lend Zizole in the Funuguti. It is Shiam Shaumbing and Vagashum Mamashumaning and Yaga. If you sit dying up one and up seven there. Nam Nam Sengish on the old one, whom you get stumps and you're not economy. See. It's important with wherever we meet. In a strong being physical, we should be clear. We need to pull up the puzzle and get resilient. We can't lose. We'll pass and pin the we'll pass this. But by long and hard, we need to be strong. 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 Sing at Chick Jail and Jill up, sing half. Sabong among a million, settle and family, Bab Makubane, and the family is Sondele, Gariscati and Niwa e Mongameli is the poor, so Tolage and Sondele to Zane, a family Aramakubane, Sondele.
Sizame juu sondela na kuni picha yifu mili zoto baile. Aba picha ni basi kavile kapambele. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Why in Mohammed in Yagaza? So tell her in the room. It's on the stage. Shine one or two. It's on the lay shine in the room because Mesu Mohammed is so it's a simple man who attacked in live. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank